Hi everyone, this is Jillian Graham with a tutorial on removing the white background from your Bitmoji or other images using the website remove.bg. The easiest way to insert your Bitmoji into your Google slide is going to be using your Chrome extension. So you can just drag and drop right from your Chrome extension and you will have a transparent background. But sometimes people are sharing their Bitmojis with us or you're adding it from your phone or copying it from a Facebook comment, however you're getting it, sometimes it will have a white background. Now I can take this and I can copy and paste it into Microsoft Word or PowerPoint and use the background removing tool there, but I find that it does not work nearly as well as this website and it takes a lot of extra clicking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on my image that I wanna remove the background for and I'm gonna save it to keep and then I'm going to right click on it and keep and copy the image. So if I just copy from here and try to paste that into the website, it's not going to work. I have to save it to keep first and actually copy the image. So then I'm going to go to remove.bg and this website is free. There are paid versions of it, but you don't need that. You can just use the preview, which are free. And so now that I'm on the website, I'm not going to upload the image. There's no downloading to my computer, uploading to here. I'm just going to simply paste it into here using my keyboard sh shortcut control V and she's ready to go. Now, if there were some words on here that you wanted to erase or something got messed up when you, um, when it removed the background, you can edit it and you can erase or restore different parts of the picture. But this one looks like it did a great job. So I'm going to right click on it copy the image again, go back to my slide presentation, and control V to paste it back. And now you can see she has a transparent background. So I hope this helps make it easier for you to remove those pesky white backgrounds on your images. If you have questions, as always, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.